The butte, or hill, of Oqua was once the site of a village that overlooked the plain to the north, towards Malfacan, and further to the Côte d'Anne-Marie, nine miles away. A critical battle raged for the town and the view it provided. The battle started on the 24th of September, 1914, when the German army took the entirety of the hill and village. The French realized the critical nature of the hill and regained the height at the cost of 3,000 lives by mid-March 1915. It was at that point the line stabilized and the War of the Mines would start. It was impossible for either opponent to dislodge the other through the force of infantry soldiers and artillery. It was thought that by mining under the enemy's side that a large enough explosion could be set off to blow them off the hill. The layout and contents of the tunnels and galleries under Vauqua Hill are as the German soldiers left them in September 1918. We are viewing a small segment of the German galleries. First we visit living quarters, still complete with bunks for four soldiers and a separate small chamber with a dining table. Moving down the hall from the living quarters, we see a small chapel. Plumbing pipe sits on the floor as the troops left it, as does a stack of bottles. Further along the same hallway, we pass a furnace and water heater on the way to a kitchen. The kitchen still holds a large stove that was used to feed the soldiers housed here. Over the course of four years, more than 10 miles of tunnels were dug, and 519 separate explosions were set off that reduced the height of the hill 24 feet and created a crater a mile in length from 150 to 800 feet wide and between 30 to 165 feet deep. On the 26th of September, 1918, the young, inexperienced American army started the Meuse-Argonne Offensive. The goal, the town and rail lines of Sedan, 35 miles to the north. The German observation post is located above ground to the southwest of the entrance to the living quarters. The observation post was used to sight artillery firing on the villages, rail lines, and French positions to the south. The thick concrete roof has been destroyed, leaving iron girders protruding above the walls in its place. It was the National Guardsmen from Kansas and Missouri, the 35th Division, that took Vauquois, surrounding the hill and finding only a remnant of the German forces who had lived and fought there for four years. The town and hill of Vauquois remains as it was found in 1918 its 168 residents never to permanently return.